Okay, this is my long overdue demo for StreamSmart. Um, basically, this is your home screen when you first boot it up. You're supposed to leave it on 24-7 running inside a media player. Um, that way all of your updates are always applied and it makes uh, using it so much easier. That's the beauty of StreamSmart. Everything that needs to be fixed, they do it for you. Um, runs on Android, uses Kodi Media Center, their own version of it. You can use devices like Kodi on your own phone or tablet, but the problem with that is you have to do all the updating and do all the URLs and repositories, and it's a pain. With StreamSmart, you just click a button, it's one and done, and you get access, free lifetime access to eight premium add-ons, which are usually monthly fees, and that's where you get all your sports, so those pay for itself. So here you go, we will enter Media Player. Usually it takes a couple seconds longer to log into the servers, but I've already done that. And you have all of your different tabs. You've got your live TV, premium, TV shows, trending, movies, sports, which is my favorite, wizard, which is for auto-updating or manually updating your box, newly added, which uh, anything that's popular, just they're trying out is new, is going to come under here. You got your system. This is basically for clearing your cache. Um, you can actually plug in a, if you already have media on an external drive, you can read it off of there. Um, international, you can basically watch anything from anywhere. I have customers that watch Peruvian television, uh, stuff from Thailand. It's, it's on here, you just gotta be able to find it and be able to actually understand the language once you get there. Real Debrid. Awesome. Uh, nothing but a ton of links HD to uh, movies and TV. Um, they're separate from StreamSmart, but it's $17 for six months, which is less than $3 a month. Well worth. Um, it's a cup of coffee. Just skip a cup of, cup of coffee a month. And you've got your uh, um, Real Debrid right there. Uh, I just finally got it. It is awesome. Highly recommend it your fitness tab, your music, kids, live TV, your premium. These are all your paid add-ons that come free with StreamSmart. TV shows, trending. Trending's cool because things uh, like when Gene Wilder died, they made a tab that was nothing but Gene Wilder movies. So the StreamSmart is always changing and uh, it's up to date. So. It's something you got to use every day. You don't just pull it out of the box every now and then for one thing. You got to use this all the time. All right, we will go into live TV. My favorite add-on is Evolution. These, all of these add-ons do the same thing. They just do it in different ways, but ultimately get you the same spot. Evolution is great. They're for sports and all your your live feeds. Go all the way to the top. Um, there's over 900 links to live networks on here. Most of them have an East and a West Coast server. They're in HD. It's not just stuff in the US, it's Canadian, it's uh, British stuff, it's French stuff, it's all kinds of stuff. So say you're looking for Cinemax. You're gonna go down to Cinemax. All right, there's Cinemax East. It's Tango and Cash, right there. You can go to Cine Cinemax West, I believe it was um, that Tom Cruise movie, Mission Impossible, I believe that's what it was. Yep, there's Mission Impossible. Basically, that's how all these links work. Uh, you just find what you're looking for, know what's on, and you can watch it live. I don't watch a whole lot of live TV because it's pointless. Because basically, you can just on demand anything you want. We're going to go ahead and stop this. We're going to go back to the home screen. We're going to go to sports stuff. Premium sports, same thing. Um, sports access. Basically, anything you want to watch worldwide is going to be right here. All you do is make sure that your server is the one closest to you. They have six servers to choose from and your categories on all, you can actually fine tune it to whatever sport you're looking for so you don't have to sift through a lot of text to find what you're looking for. But basically, 
It's 2.26 right now on Sunday, so I'm going to scroll down till about that time. So we have some college basketball. Open up the three-point shot, I think, as the game evolves here a little bit, you'll see the three-point shot open up. And for we have some Egypt versus Morocco soccer. Good catch, uh, Salah, but get to the ball first, too. It's Saisu who clears it away. You can watch darts. I don't know who was, would watch darts, but if you want to watch it, break you can. In this leg. It'd like to go out in style. You can basically find anything you want on here. Um, you just got to know what's on when it's on. Uh, I watch a hell of a lot more sports now that I use Stream Smart than before because I can watch whatever I want instead of whatever I'm allowed to watch. So we're going to stop this and we're going to go into TV shows. There's a ton of add-ons you could use for TV shows. You can look for networks, or you can just do a search and you type in exactly what you want uh, with networks. We'll go to Amazon. We've been watching The Man in the High Tower. You'd find it, or The Man in the High Castle, I'm sorry. You click on that, pick what season you want, what episode. Now what it's doing now is it's populating a list of places it can stream it from. You can actually set it to do this for 5 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Um, the longer it does it, the more sources it's going to pull from. When it's done, um, it lists all of your places to stream from. At the top of the list is your best quality, like your 1080p, and as it ascends, it's going to go from 1080p to 720 to just standard definition. Now I have a real Debrit account, so I'm paying for more HD links, but it's three less than three dollars a month, so it's well worth it. But even if you don't have it, you can find HD links. This just gives you a ton. Uh, so right here, I'm just gonna scroll down. I have 93 different places to stream it from, just under one app. It was just asked me if I wanted to resume where I was before, or, or where I left off, or start over. And say I was watching this before and I was 20 minutes in, I can just manually put in 20 minutes and hit enter and it's going to jump right to 20 minutes. The responsibility for the girl and all her actions lies with you. Okay, so we're going to stop it. We're going to go back. One thing that's cool about Stream Smart, you can customize it. Um, every time you want to watch something, you don't have to go searching for it. Once you finally find it, you can highlight it, hit your menu button, and add it to your favorites. And then once something is in your favorites, you go down to the star at the bottom left hand corner, or hit the star on your remote, and it will bring up your list of favorites, the things that you like to watch. Um, so there's any variety of things. You can have movies, TV shows. It has to be on-demand stuff. It, it can be live network feeds that are 24-7 feeds of the same thing. But if you want to make a favorite of whatever game you're watching, you can do that if you want to jump between games and just go to your favorites and use it like a channel back button. But once those games are done, that link is dead and you can't. It won't work the next time you use it. So a lot of people... They get confused because this is a lot different than regular TV, but it's actually much better. So, okay. I like watching Planet Earth too. And it's same as before, populates the list. A lot of people ask me about Fire Sticks and Roku and Netflix and Hulu. There's nothing on a fire stick that you cannot have on here. This is basically all of that combined and then some. There's no limitations on this. You buy a box, you're done. There is no more fees once you buy a Stream Smart box. Um, I think that scares a lot of people because they 
they look at the price and they're like, I can't afford that at once. But if you look at what you spend a year in TV, it's a quarter of the price you spend in TV a year. And you actually have no limitations. And once you really learn how to use it, it just gets better and better. Right. So as you can see, nice and clear picture. Um, it's great sound quality. It's the same thing you would get from any other streaming device. Um, it's just nobody, nobody knows what Stream Smart is. Um, it, it was made by Apple. People would be lined up out the door to buy it, not knowing what it does. But since nobody's heard of Stream Smart, they don't bother with it. Okay, and we're gonna stop this. Another cool thing about Stream Smart is go to the home. I'm gonna go right back to the boot menu. It's an Android device. So if you have a phone that's an Android or a tablet, you've maybe tried to download emulators. It has Google Play Store, so you can go into Google Play Store and download anything you want, just like you can on your phone. You can download free Nintendo game emulators, and I have every game ever made on a USB drive, and I can just load any game I want from my childhood and play it. We'll find something that people have actually heard of. Like Afterburner. We're going to exit it. Just go right back into the emulator. We'll go into recent games. Uh, haven't really played this in a while. So we'll just go to load games. There we go. Zelda. And to show you how easy it is to get right back to where you were, you just go to Media Player, and you're right back to watching whatever you want to watch. Um, there's a learning curve with this, but once you get the hang of it, it's so easy. Uh, it took me about a week, a week and a half, and when I bought it, I knew nothing about it. And I mean, you just, it's one of those things, the more you play with it, the more you appreciate it and the more you love it. Um, it's probably the best decision I ever made to buy one. I don't know what I did before it. Um, it's just, it's so simple and why more people don't use it, I don't know, but it's, my mission is to get everyone at least educated on options because with Comcast and DirecTV and DishNet, they just raise your rate because you're locked in and they all they care about you is they just want you to pay. That's all they care about. They don't care about service. Uh, Stream Smart is definitely all about customer service, and the only way to find out about that is to actually get a demo.